Happy Friday, everyone. Welcome to Geeks Are Sexy. I'm Jason LaDuke from Evil Genius Leadership Consultants, and I am your host on the fourth Friday of every month, taking over from Michelle Davis for the Geeks Are Sexy show, where we're talking about business, success, and all the great things for entrepreneurial spirit and being successful here in Las Vegas. We've got a couple great guests for you today, actually three great guests for you today. We're going to bring on Dwayne Davison from Entertainment Capital Group, and then we've got Katie Watford who's a fashion stylist, and that's a little bit of a new guest that we've never had before. We're going to bring all our guests back at the end of the show for our panel discussion, but first, we're going to get right into it with Sean Phillipson from Morrison Security. Sean, thanks for being here today on Geeks Are Sexy. Thanks for having me. I'm very happy to be here. It's great to have you. Sean was born and raised here in Las Vegas. He's seen firsthand all the exciting changes that have come in the last 20 to 30 years in town, and after starting a career in sales, he's actually found a, passion, a career and a passion in private security. And helping businesses identify their security needs, those vulnerabilities, and finding ways to help those businesses at a cost that fits their business as well. Welcome to the show, Sean. Thanks Thank for you. being here. Thank you very much. So, tell us about growing up in Las Vegas. Tell us what you've seen change, and tell us why you see that there's a need for private security for businesses here in Las Vegas. Absolutely. So, I mean, uh, <clears throat> you know, growing up in Las Vegas, I never really knew how rare it was to be a native Las Vegan until uh, I got the question asked. You know, what hotel did you grow up in? Mm -hmm. So, uh, but after that, you know, I, I, I started taking a look at my city as a whole and realizing how it's transformed. Uh, it's still a great city. I love it. But as unfortunate as it is, with growth comes more crime as well. So being able to be in more in, uh, more in security and uh, reach out to the community, I feel like I'm making a greater impact in the city that I grew up in. That's great. That's great. Uh, we all, one of the things I've learned, I'm not a native to Las Vegas, but I've learned uh, the first time I lived here and since, especially since I've been living here for the last almost three years now, that Las Vegans really want to make a positive impact on Las Vegas and grow Las Vegas into a community that we can be proud of here. And I, I think that's great. So tell us how you became uh, involved with Morrison Security. How did you end up working there? Well, it's not it's not too crazy of a story there. I, uh, I met the branch manager at the time. We were good friends. Uh, he knew my background in sales, and uh, I've done security in the past as well, as well as a military career. And so he introduced me to the CEO. We sat down, had an interview, and the rest is history. Okay, cool. So tell us a little bit about what Morrison does for their customers. Well, first of all, we give our, our clients peace of mind, knowing that they have an officer on site who can take the burden of, of needing to constantly be aware of what's going on in your site, take that away from the business owner, let, that, let us deal with the vagrants, the police reports, things like that. Let uh, let us take take it off your plate so you can run your business, keep your venue safe and uh, successful. That's that's awesome because one of the things that I work with my clients on, and we talk a lot about on this show, is if you're a business owner or you're the GM of a, of a location, one of the things that's really important is that you're working on your business. And you're working on the strategic level and thinking about all the things you need to do as the business owner or the GM, thinking about the relationships you need to build and not working in your business because that's what your, your managers are for and your staff to handle those things before Absolutely. you even know you have a problem. And one of the things that really impresses me about Morrison is this is about human security. It's about having officers on site who are handling those things for you, especially the, the police reporting if something were to come up. So what are some of the things... If someone's a business owner and they don't have security currently as part of their business portfolio, the things that they're relying on, I mean, we all have a banker and an insurance agent and a lawyer and that kind of thing, but not all of us have security. They've got a brick and mortar business. What are some of the indicators that a business owner should be looking for? And what, what are some of the things that if they see these things, these indicators, that they should be calling Morrison? Well, I mean, there's there's a lot of ways to determine whether or not you should bring on security. Uh, first and foremost, it's, it's kind of a general general rule there. If you have about $150,000 of assets or potential loss that you stand to lose during a hit or uh, a, a disaster, things of that nature that can be prevented, not even just a theft, but let's say a fire. Mm -hmm. If you don't have anyone watching your, your site at night and it catches on fire, who's there to call? You know, Hopefully someone calls when they're on the street, but you never mm -hmm. know. But when you have an officer on property, when you're not there or when you can't put your eyes on the, on the scene... It, it, it uh, that that's what security is there for. Um, so one hundred fifty thousand dollars. That's just a general um, guesstimation, really. But okay. um, every business can assess. You know, can they stand to lose a large portion of their business and still succeed? And then the other way uh, they can kind of gauge is uh, check out crime maps in your area. Okay. So it's very easy. Just Google crime maps uh, in Las Vegas. There's several websites for it. 
type in your address <clears throat> and go back as far as you want six months yesterday it'll give you a list of everything that's been reported in your area or on your site even that you might not have known about in the last data range that you select mm -hmm. now we are living in a digital age and a lot of folks are going to say they're going to say to me they're going to say to you they're going to say listen i can go get a bunch of internet security cameras and i can i can have every square foot covered on of my my shop and look at it and watch it from my phone why why do i need an, a security officer well cameras are great we love working with businesses who already have established security surveillance programs but a camera is great Without someone behind it, it's great to watch the guy walk off with your stuff as he waves to you. Mm -hmm. So having an officer on property, we can still coordinate with the surveillance system. Put a guard in, in a guard mm -hmm. shack with monitors and everything. Or uh, if you want to keep on your phone and you get an alert on your phone, hey, something's going on. You call the security company. Call our dispatch 24-7. Mm -hmm. Anytime you need to get a hold of us, you can get a hold of the officer on site. We respond to it. We deal with it. We'll liaison with the police for you. Um, Great. One of the things that impressed me most, when we sat down, we had coffee earlier in the week, and one of the things that impressed me most about you and Morrison Security in general is you have a, a very strong sense of professionalism with your managers and your supervisors and your officers, but you and a, and a very strong sense of ethics. Tell us a little about how Morrison applies that sense of professionalism and ethics with its officers and its customers and how they foster that in, in the company. Absolutely. <clears throat> so I, I love our management staff. We have a great team over at Morrison. It's taken a while to develop, but we have a, an extremely solid team now. The great thing about all of us in our management team is we all started wearing the uniform. We were all security officers at one point. So we learned to follow before we can lead. That's a very strong, I know you're, you have a military background as well, Absolutely. so do I, and several of our supervisors do as well. Excellent. So we take those, those values, those lessons we learned growing up in the military, expanding and, and gaining experience in the military and adding it to how we do business at Morrison. Yeah, it's a it's very hard to find a place other than outside of the military where ethics and professionalism are discussed so often, and and I really respect what you guys are doing at Morrison. So tell us a little bit. We've got a couple minutes left. Tell us about a specific instance where you've helped a customer. Sure, absolutely. I met uh, I met one of our clients. Uh, we networked up and we started a contract. Came into a partnership. She owns a, uh, a local strip mall, a little mm -hmm. plaza in the area there. Um, it had it already had security. But they okay. wanted to, They weren't happy with their service. They pushed them out. We came in. Uh, we first of all, when the very first night hit, there was myself, the branch manager, all the supervisors, and any officers that were going to be on that site. Mm -hmm. We're all on that site in force to train to learn the site together. So it's not like we just sent someone off and said good luck to you. Okay. But uh, no, we were there. We learned what the site was. How are we going to manage a site that we don't even know what it is? So we were all there. I went around. We addressed the situation of vagrants, dumpster divers, mm -hmm. uh, panhandlers, things of that nature. We mm -hmm. went in. We cleared them out. When we did, we made sure to say, hey, there's a new security company here. Mm -hmm. And the thing is, uh, people might not know, but there's communities of vagrants, homeless uh, that they, you know, they'll live in washes, things like that, as sad as it is, but they do, and they talk. They talk to each other, say, hey, mm -hmm. I've been going here, this place. The people are very generous there. I mean, there mm -hmm. might be an elderly community there that kind of has a heart string mm -hmm. for us. So they start hitting places that are easy, and when you let them know that they are not welcome on property, they are if they want to do business, by all means, but if you're there to cause problems, to vandalize, to panhandle, to cause a nuisance, uh, that we, we're going we're gonna to stop you. We're going to get rid of you. And once they get that picture, things tend to subside. It sounds like you really handle very tough problems, very tough conversations with some of these communities with professionalism and respect and compassion for their situation. And I, I think that that speaks volumes to why you're so successful and people keep calling you to, to come in and handle their, Absolutely. handle their security. This so, is overwhelming right now. so we just got a, a little bit of time left. How can our viewers get in touch with you and how can they get in touch with Morris? And if they see those indicators, if you've got those things that Sean talked about and that's going on in your business, or you're thinking of it, you're thinking that you might be right around that $150,000 threshold where you can't afford to lose it in one shot. How can, you, how can they get a hold of you to, to get you to come talk to them? Absolutely. Very simple. Go ahead and give our office a call. The number is 702-262-0096. Also, you can reach me by email and we can chat that way. 
S. Phillipson at morrisonsecurity.com. All right, John. Well, thanks for being here. It's great to have you. Thank you you very much. I'm sure we'll be in touch in the future. This is Geeks Are Sexy, and we will be right back with Dwayne Davison from Entertainment Capital Group.